Hello and good day, I am Sir Dumanais. In this lesson, we will describe some types of beneficial and harmful interaction among living things. Remember that interaction among organisms may be either harmful or beneficial depending on the effect of one to another. Interaction from one organism to another organism may bring either good or bad effect. There are interactions that both organisms benefit, meaning they help each other to live, and there are also forms of interaction that only one organism is benefiting while other neither get beneficial nor harmful effect. But before we move on to our discussion about interaction among living things in their environment, let us define some important keywords to better understood our lesson. First is mutualism. Mutualism is defined as interaction between organisms of two different species in which each organism benefit from each other. The best example of this are the bee and the flowers. The bee fly from flower to flower gathering nectar. While they make it for food benefiting the bees. In this mutualistic relationship, the bees get to eat while the flower plants get to reproduce. Next is commensalism. Commensalism is a type of symbiotic relationship between two organisms in which one benefit and the other is neither benefit or harm. First example is the orchid growing on a branch or trunk of a tree. The orchid bloom its flower while the tree continue to grow and bear fruits on its time. Second example is the shark and the remora. Remora is the small fish below the shark in a symbiotic relationship where the remora benefit from holding on to the shark but neither species are harmed. Next is predation and parasitism. First, predation refers to the relationship of two organisms or species, the predator and the prey. The predator kills the prey at once and has in the form of food. In predation, the prey loses energy and the predator gains energy. The process of eating seeds and eggs are also considered a form of predation. While in parasitism, parasitism is generally defined as a relationship between the two living species in which one organism is benefited at the expense of the other. The organism that is benefited is called the parasite, while the one that is harmed is called the host. Best example of parasitism is the parasite are tapeworms, fleas, and barnacles inside the stomach. Each interaction may either be mutualism, commensalism, predation, and parasitism that keeps an ecosystem rich in different organisms. However, competition may exist when organisms compete for food, water, habitat, space, sunlight, and other things needed for survival. While predation is a prey and predator relationship, the animal which is bigger is called the predator and eat its prey or the smaller animal. Predation is important 
as it helps other organisms to adapt in environment preventing itself to be eaten by other animals for their survival. This system is what we call interaction among organisms. There are two types of effects that may happen between or among organisms. First, short term, like pollination and predation, or number two, long term, by which both organisms often strongly influence the evolution of the species involved. Symbiosis is an example of a long term effect of interaction. Symbiosis range from mutualism, which is beneficial to both partners, or could be competition, which is harmful to both partners. The species are called symbiotics in symbiotic relationship. This relationship in a biological interaction is very important in nature and in keeping the balance of nature. It maintains for wood web. The food web shows the food relationship among living organisms and most food webs start with green plants. In the system of biological interaction, doesn't exist many animals will die from starvation as for the food web couldn't exist. For the quiz in this video, remember that I have discussed the four types of symbiotic interaction in the environment. Mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, and competition. I want you to give the fifth type of symbiotic interaction in the environment. It refers to the inter-specific interaction. Neither population affects the other. Or, this fifth type of symbiotic interaction occur are indirect or incidental. The best example for the fifth type of symbiotic interaction is the tarantula living in a desert and a cacti or cactus also living in a desert. Please, Type down below at the comment section your answer. What we have learned today is an organism cannot exist when they are living alone. In an ecosystem, it should be composed of different organisms for it to survive. Just like as human, we as human need to interact with other people. Or, we could take benefited from the animals, plants, for consumption, and for us to be able to survive in a long period of time. Sir Dumana is saying happy learning, good day, thank you, and God bless.